Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this new listing. This is uh, Casa Maria Jose and uh, a beautiful rustic plot. Uh, sorry, urban plot, but it's a rustic uh, location. We're located in Guaro, which is uh, a beautiful part of uh, the ax northern axis here. And you've got uh, very good access, concrete and tarmac access. It's a small hamlet. Uh, it's famous for its uh, water and fountains. And um, yeah, it's, it's got a beautiful backdrop of this uh, beautiful uh, mountainside behind. Uh, nothing can be built behind. Um, it's an urban plot. So it's on mains, waste, water, electric. Uh, we're talking about a three bedroom property with three or four outhouses plus the garage, uh, all on one level. It's got a huge opportunity to, uh, to apply for a license for a pool if the pool is required. Um, but basically you've got this tri triangular, this is obviously like a vegetable garden in front, um, but there's yeah, very good option to put in a pool, extend your terrace, and you've got, you know, a huge, huge open view, which is uh, south facing uh, onto an existing terrace where you've got a covered porchway there. Um, and you know, yeah, nice vine covered terrace this is. Um, the house is about 32 years old. Um, so it does, it's going to require a degree of modernization and uh, upgrades. But to be honest, the location, if you're looking for peace and quiet, it really is very, very nice. The drive up, up here from Periana is about a 10 minute drive and it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, you're part of a Spanish community um, with, uh, yeah, fantastic views, a great, a great kind of... Uh, house with many possibilities which you're going to see now uh okay so if uh, what we're going to do is obviously take a look inside and uh obviously show you the rest of the property okay so a nice uh, solid wood door there leading into the living area okay so it's it's the typical spanish design whereby uh, there's minimal kind of um corridors let's say so you got that nice kind of framed hallway there this leads into the kitchen Okay, so it's a good sized kitchen. These doors actually uh, integrated into the wall there. That was quite, uh, quite modern and expensive for the time it was built. Um, that doorway leads to the garage, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, but the kitchen, you got marble tops, it's all up together. Electric hob, okay, twin sink. And then into, again, this living room, which has one bedroom off the end of it here okay so this is a double bedroom you've got all the all the windows and doors are the typical uh, wooden shutters with the uh, slatted persianas okay so um, again you got security grills nice brickwork as well um, so big big wardrobe in here okay I'm guessing this is gonna stay um, so through to the back of the property whereby we have this is the biggest room okay so it's got three single beds in at the moment but uh yeah you've got quite nice high ceilings plenty of room for wardrobe space so that's kind of like your main bedroom and then this would be the smaller bedroom which at the moment is just a single could be a bunk bed obviously um, but as you'll see, there's plenty of room to expand. Okay, so this is the one and only bathroom, but it's a good size. Okay, so you've got bidet, toilet, bath, sink, and washing machine all in. And uh, again, that could be kind of split into two very easily, uh, but you've got all your services there anyway, so it's, it's not, uh, not a problem. Uh, this is like a second kind of kitchen area uh, where you have a big, big fireplace. Okay, so we are up in Guaro, which is probably, I think it's about six or 700 meters above sea level. So it's in the winter, it's going to get pretty, pretty cold here. So there are a number of fires. Uh, you've got gas water for your, for your gas heater, for your hot water. Okay, so it's kind of like a utility room, really. Um, and then you come into a kind of another area with sink and water and waste. And then this is into the garage. Okay, so the garage, you've got like a triple door there that folds back. 
and this comes off the kitchen okay so uh, I mean it's again all on one level there's lots of possibilities um, I'm going to show you the outhouses now but you know huge potential and your views are, are going to be fixed okay um, so at the back of the house here we've got these outhouses that were for various animals chickens uh, this again has got a big fire. There's a chimney in there. Look, that's typical Andalus. Really nice kind of features. Again, you can use this kind of footprint to make storage space, workshops, garages, that sort of stuff. But that's a covered terrace there. You can see with the guttering. Got guttering all around the house. Needs again a bit of attention, but uh, you know, given the age and given the price of this property, it is interesting. Okay, so this is another outhouse. This is for chickens, I believe. Okay, which has been divided into two. And you've got access from here as well. That uh, metal door. And then this is quite a large outhouse. Again, it's got massive potential. Um, it's gonna need work, guys, this one. It's, it's gonna, you know, it's obviously gonna be reflect reflected in the price. Um, but the fact that it's urban in a great location, nothing can take that away. Okay. Nothing can be built behind beautiful, uh, backdrop to any property. Um, and we're going to finish off now on the roof terrace, which, uh, again has beautiful open views. You've got a water deposit at the top here and then a terrace. And look at that. That is a stunning view and I gotta say the peace and quiet up here is amazing okay there are neighbors you'll say in part of a small hamlet but it's you know they're far enough distance away and it's obviously this is detached and just with the kind of usable flat space around the house I think that uh, Casa Maria Jose has a lot of potential. So if you want further details, this is uh, going to be uh, listed on Villa Solutions website. Uh, just contact us directly on 0034-696-522-171 or indeed view the website villasolutions.net. Thank you.